Yo, yo, how we doing? Starting it off with a solid invade. Artemis got sent back to base pretty early on. Ymir on her is a classic lane. I was hesitating to pop the pillar, but I should have. Just because the Artemis slow really crippled our ability to try to sit behind each other. Or me sit behind Ymir and kite her out. So the pillar was pretty good play. Notable things about this matchup, Artemis can immune slows with her too, her stim. It's kind of hard to try to just pillar jump on somebody, impale them. But she doesn't have a jump. That was a nice combo. Up in the wing shard and then the beads to just skedaddle out of there. Could have poked Horus a little bit more, but I wasn't going to kill him. No need to go too deep into that. Look at this Awila. She's taking a T2 tower shot. All to try to 
I don't even know. She thought that she was going to kill a two and one on her that deep. It's like, nah, brother. Rough ults. I don't even know if I landed two spears there. I was a little dizzy there. Artemis was even dizzier thinking she was going to get out alive. I am so fed. Atalanta's bow adds so much damage. Woo! How'd that taste? You gotta think about it. It's 10 extra damage with everything. Auto attack, impale, auto attack, ult. Plus you're reducing their prots at the same time. This is why he's just a monster. She just does not respect it. I canceled my ult like three spears in. Three or four. It's like, brother, I'm overkilling you. Just sit back. Let it happen. Farm up for the late game. I think he was going ability-based Artemis, which is... It's caught on. I think it's one of the biggest... Don't get me wrong. It's fun to play. Um, I would definitely recommend it for somebody who's newer to playing ADC. Uh, just because you press four and you're valuable in a team fight. But I don't think that it's better than auto attack Artemis by a long shot. Like going crit or I think one of the undervalued items on her is Silver Branch. It hasn't been built in a long time. Uh, but characters with stims, I still feel like it's, it's viable because you get a ton of extra power. Thank goodness a Wheelix already popped her ult and she got stunned out there. My beads were practically useless. That guy took a ride to Pain Town. <laughs> yeah, where's this portal go? This is looking like a pretty good option. Clean game so far, I would say. Uh, had in that last fight uh pretty bad beads but we're taking over the map brother you know i could kind of see him trying to make that play just because he's level 13 and I'm 17 if he gets the kill that is huge granted if no one is around with him he never kills me there literally ever if it's just a 1v1 no chance I'm gonna tell you what this is the first time that I've ever seen that where so many of my autos got blocked by those. The buff changers. That's just beautiful. Getting off like four or five auto attacks off of one support CC ability. I gotta work on that for sure. Just waiting for my support CC if they're playing a traditional one like Fafnir, Ymir, Sobek, something like that. I gotta stop trying make, to make their life easier by CCing them. It should be the other way around, right? Like, let your support hit somebody, you hit whoever they hit. It's just disgusting. Uh, I Aegis the first stun, but then the second one popped out. That guy was going tank this game, by the way. That's why I kind of highlighted that. Maman is absurdly broken at the time of recording this. There hasn't been a patch to nerf her yet. So... There I could have played it better. Uh, granted, that guy was just so fed. Don't think that it really matters. We did get FG. Pretty easy. Enemy team hasn't really been contesting us. 
And I walk up and say, please give me some more of that. Oh, unlucky. I do not like sieging whenever I see stuff like this. I prefer trying to split push. Like, I already know I have half my team's kills, and somehow the game is close. Granted, it's not too close, but I have like three or four thousand more gold than my whole team right now. Oh my goodness. None of them were low. I probably just pop off there. Oof. Why they gotta do that? I'm terrified of that god at this point. I do think some of the problem is I don't fully understand what she does yet. Like, if the stun works every single time off of her canceling her one, or the cone ability, I think it's her one, that would be incredibly dumb. Um, I don't know if she has to fill a requirement for the stun to work. Somehow they saw me. Guess I was just sitting over a ward. Nice little collision with the wall there. Somehow my spear didn't hit him. I love it when that happens. Unfortunate. Early impale. I was just scared of the Janus portal. I saw it coming in. You can cancel on her ult if somebody Aegis is it. Because it does go throughout the full duration. At that point, I'm like, okay, we, we got to start playing. Playing a little bit better into this Maman. Time to start learning after all these L's I'm taking. And I still didn't learn. I pretty much told the team, yeah, everybody dump their ults on this Maman and we'll win the game. That's pretty much what I said. I, I think I told Seuss and uh, the Morgan just dump your ults on her. Like, look at that, Wheelix. I'm going after her, popping the beads for the cooldown. Out of the corner of my eye, I could see Susano, but not in game. I wasn't, I wasn't really paying too much attention there. I just wanted to end this game. Basically, we could have done it uh, even without killing that a hey, Yanus. As carry, it's very important that you're alive at the end of the game because you're going to be doing the best DPS towards that Titan. That guy was saying that we were five stacked. Had yeah, me chuckling. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.